We are live. So you guys, um, Jeff and I are working super hard on artwork for our upcoming art show. Of course, I have all of the lit pieces that are going in the show. Jeff has portraits galore, but today he is helping me and my Bowie butt with a lip piece that's going to be an undo dusty lip piece. And what that means is that we're going to, hey Shelly, be doing some airbrush and then some resin. Hello, hello everyone. So I base painted this lip piece earlier today and Jeff's adding some airbrush to it so that I can make it under the CEE. Hi Katie, thank you so much. Diana, thank you guys so much for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. Jeff is using Createx Pearlized Gold with an Iwata airbrush. What's up, Manuel and Austin? So right now he's airbrushing essentially what's going to be the sand. So he's doing a little bit of texture swirls. He's doing some dark areas, the light areas. And then after he gets this airbrush, what's up, Tiffany, Pamela, everybody, TG. After this is done, we're gonna put some airbrush on the teeth and then I'm gonna add an ocean wave over the top of it, assuming that my resin hasn't set up by then. I was quick draw McGraw and went ahead and mixed this. What's up, Danny Young? How you doing? Hey, Danny Ham. Danny Young. I'm sorry, Don Young. So we have been working on all of these. I'm gonna put braces on this gal. We're gonna put neon lights around that one. I'm gonna do um, a texture on this one. If my ocean one works out well, then this one is gonna be another ocean. And then I have a snarl, just amazing portrait. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. This one is gonna stay the texture of the background. Bowie's gonna stay the texture of a Bowie. So now um, Jeff is cutting out the teeth area because he just, he already has it masked off from doing the outside. And the sand looks a little bit warm on camera. It's not quite as orangey, but almost. So how have y'all's um, weekend gone? I hope it was amazing. Bowie's so cute. Isn't he though? Hey, Bubba. Tummy rubs. Okay. What's that, Tim? Thank you, Pamela. He's pretty precious, but boy. Okay, I gotta go back over here. Do you need a new one? No, I didn't even use this one. Like, it should even... So, he has it masked off with contact paper. And now he is cutting out the area where he's going to paint next with um, an X-Acto blade. Make sure your blade is always sharp because one, a dull blade causes injuries. And two, you don't want to have to go back and have to recut things because of um, a dull blade. So um, the color he's gonna use for the teeth shadow is gonna be Hi, Arlene, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in and seeing what's up today. Hello, Betty. 
Sorry, Maryland is so rainy. It's actually been pretty gorgeous outside here today. In the last few days, actually. Lisa, how's it going? Manuel, next time we're doing a gig in Austin, we will definitely let you know. For sure, for sure. But next time you're on 6th Street, go check out In Cahoots. I know it's so nice to be live. East 6th Street. East 6th Street. No, South. South 6th Street. Right? No, you come in South. So it's, right? I don't know. No, I don't know. Noel said so East. left side of the freeway when you're coming in from Dallas. <laughs> Is it the left I, side? For some reason, I think, I think, uh... He said East 6. On the other side of 6th Street. Peter B. says, loving the airbrush technique. Thank you. Be careful, um, you guys at home, when you're using a heat gun around contact paper because it will shrink it. Um, Jeff already knows, but I'm just letting you guys know. Can we hold up? So now he's adding a drop shadow. The address is E6. Well, mystery solved. So he's adding just a hint of color. Doesn't take a whole lot. Bam. Dun, 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 dun. Now he's just adding depth in some areas and then we're gonna get to the resin part. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Every subscriber counts, every thumbs up counts. Jeff, where are you aiming? Just between the contact and the surface or just above? or somewhere in between? Um, when I'm doing this shadow, I'm, I'm just aiming right in between. Like I'm doing, I'm trying to hit here and there so that I'm not just putting a lot on there. So yeah, um, so he's counting a lot on the overspray and he's aiming in between. Hey, Clara. What's up, Joseph? What's up, Holly? So, in just a moment, we're about to get into the resin. Just got to get a little... Uh, all right, Clara, with the M words. A little bit of depth using a stencil. I like it. How is Vamp healing? She's making it. She injures herself some new type of way every day, I think, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. So depthy. Looks like you just stick your whole hand in there. Do you want to put airbrush on there? If you got time. If I have time, what? I'm just gonna do a little. I don't wanna make this super dark. Yeah, for sure. What happened to Vamp this time? Well, are you talking about after the broken leg or are you talking about the broken leg? Got ATD package today. I'm so glad, Tim. So now he's adding depth to the actual lip shape. Um, typically when we do um lip pieces i'll do the base painting get the shape down and then jeff will come in and add all the detail and depth and highlights with airbrush because it's um amazing when he does that and it takes him less time to do that than it would take for me to do with an 
um, actual paintbrush. Well, yeah, today she steamed her wrist off. How was your vacay? So he's also now using a stencil. Even a can stencil, it gets you and it gets you places that you need it to be dark in the crease. You don't want to be put trying to do this super dark line right here. I want it to look like it's just these two pieces are meeting and then there's a little depth and it comes out and around. So if you just block that off both ways, then you'll get a nice crisp line and you'll get a nice fade from here out. Yep. All of that. Depth in the crease. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? So this piece ultimately is a test piece for a bigger size. But obviously, I would want to make the test piece, the sample piece, sellable as well, if at all possible. What was Jeff just doing? Uh, he was, it was sputtering. Yeah. It, just, it wasn't coming out. Like it wasn't like, and it's still doing it. Like there's, I feel like there's, there's something on the needle. He says he feels like there may be something on the needle, so he was just taking the... I wasn't spraying... Wait, do you see how there's like a little shadow underneath? The shadow There's underneath under. is bad. Yeah, it should be just like regular... See how it kind of comes out like that. There shouldn't be a halo. Oh, the line should be thinner. It's not letting him get the fine details because it's throwing out like a halo almost of color. It looks so dimensional. I think you didn't do your whoosh on this side. No, don't want to make it too dark. So you guys, that's what we're looking like. And now I'm gonna hand this off to Jeff so that I can add the resin.
Lisa, I've seen Zimino do that, and I just got those wax base pencils in to um, try that out myself, actually. Oh, why don't you put some heat on that? Okay. You don't want to put any kind of white highlight or nothing? Unless. I never do the highlights. You always do better highlights. Do you want to? I know. Uh, well, I'm, that's why I'm asking. Oh. What, what's happening right now? Um, I'm gonna check make sure this isn't warm. I got a little bit of time. Okay. So you want to add a highlight? So now we're gonna add a shimmery, glossy highlight. I don't think bubble wrap can protect vamp. It looks glossy on camera. Um, he is using a Posca marker, a chisel tip. Side of here because I, I think it would be too much. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, just for my knowledge, why did you hold the Posca pen like that? Does it give I'm you just different to get kind the of sides? Oh, okay. Some of this is very choppy, so it gives it kind of more of a, that choppy look. Um, and so it's straight, and I was just trying to do almost. Just a tiny bit, just a corner. Okay. Now I want to do this goldish background on another one. And check the resin temp. We're good. So right now he's getting kind of a halo, hairler, a halo, a halo to his. Posca with the airbrush with white. Also, now it looks like this underlip area is straight up glowing. Hey, Kathy, thank you so much. The goldfish background really makes that blue pop, doesn't it? I love her. Okay, let's further dry and then get to the resin, the resin. Claire, I don't even almost know how to begin to make that a thing. airbrush um, should we put it in front of the cold fan yeah like when you do this you think you're just kind of moving it around and you're drying it but what this does some of this heat sometimes will almost soften this paint um, and if you go right to this and you want to stick something on here or you want to do something it might pull that right off if you if you try to put masking on this or wipe it you never know so just let it cool down i mean you could feel it's it's there's some heat on it um so just let it cool down for a second and then go about your business I'm gonna have to do this.
Like, I like to use, like, not super white for that. It just gives it just enough to where the teeth are coming forward. Yeah. I like it. So, what about these sides? You want to keep them... I'm going to worry about the through? sides after-ish. So, are we flattening? Um, I was just going to do it right there, but we can flatten it and do it here. We have everything on. So, if you could hold this. No one's saying they don't like sharks. I'm saying I don't know how to paint a shark in a mouth. What? I was talking to Clara. Because it's a cute idea. I just don't know how to do that. Oh, you have like, you have some, you can see that I was like, is that, did I get gold in there? No, I put that, um, that shimmer paint on it. Alright, I went ahead and mixed up the resin so you guys don't have to watch that part. Jeff and I previously discussed how we were going to do this, and I am going to come down like this. This is a one-time deal. So this is, this is only how much sh shore you're going to do, wave? Or you're going to go this way? I'm going this way. Ah. That's, that's, that's like, you're going to cover up all that? Okay, do you want me to go that way? No, I was going to suggest maybe like, almost like just cover some teeth and then, but all that you might you're gonna cover all that up with white right like if you're gonna put white down and then or no no i don't know so okay so i would just add just a little bit more oh so then it's gonna go that way is that okay yeah no just do what you're gonna do it's a test it let's just see what okay we got two drops of bondi I'm gonna put on this bit and then add a couple more drops for the bottom bit. Blend it, blend it. We didn't spray that with. This is a test. I'm still making sure it's making contact with both the dry and the wet areas. Okay. Now I've got my heat gun with my concentrator nozzle. Pop some bubbles. We got any floaters. I'm not going to push the wave all the way down like I usually do. Pretty 
Like, yeah. Go should ahead. I, should I push it more down? I don't know. I just, I think what I'm not liking is this color over this gold. It looks green, and it, it and you covered like. Well, um, I could, I'm not sure what I could do about that at this point. I don't think I can change the color of the background. Well, that's, I'm not talking about that. I think I'm okay with the waves not going fully down and this is just a test I guess it doesn't come off as like what it normally does with how this is because you don't see it here you only see it here so I guess As a test, I'm mostly okay with it. But you're right, the background being this color. Well, and then you, you, the thing is, all this is covering all this. So, what in my in my mind, I was thinking you would do it. You know, you would kind of come just a little bit to where the teeth. You would see it. It's almost like half in, half out, or like out that way so that, I don't know, I don't know what I'm feeling. Cause I like this, but all, there's so much, nothing here, just the color. Should I put another wave? Probably, I mean, if that would look good, I don't know. Find out together. Get another glove. Yeah, I guess I just pictured some of the teeth showing so that it, or maybe it was like coming up on shore. Let's say, like, like, I mean, I in know. retrospect, that would have looked super rad. And then we'll do that on the big piece. So should, I don't want to cover the teeth. So should I bring it this way? Yeah, like maybe just, just kind of. Just a little hike up right here? Yeah. Like I would try to get some of that dark off there, I guess, too, or give it some movement or something. What's wrong? do your outline. Mm -hmm. Should I double outline it? Cause it yeah. That looks fine, babe. It looks, you're gonna. Yeah. So 
teeny bit of heat. Why those came out like that? Because it went under the blue. So it's got tint on it. It's not on top anymore. See how it's like sank right here? Yeah. Smooth out that edge there. The side. Everybody says this is so cool, they love it. Definitely condone. Yeah, that, that see what I, I guess what I was seeing too was having this gloss and then that flat and you covered up all the flat. That's, that's what I, I was like. Well, that's the purpose of a test. And now we have one. I like that you can still see that shimmer paint that I put on there on the lip <laughs> and now we have a better idea what we're going to do on the paint <clears throat> So you guys, um, we always like to know y'all's opinion. So yeah, now that I have that done, doing the bigger one, I have a better idea of where we're going to put the wave. So let that be a lesson to everybody about doing sample pieces. So yeah, he is chilling like a champ. What's up, Sue? Um, I hope you guys had an amazing day and are excited. We have a show coming up October 18th here in Dallas, Texas at Deep Ellum Art Co. If you guys are in town, love to have you guys. And we got to get back to doing some art stuff. Uh, huh? I said October 18th. I'm sorry, Sue. Get better. That's not a fun... Not fun. Jeff's working on our sign. And... Will we wait? You should, TG. They can see it. He's gonna backlight it as well. All right, you guys, tomorrow is two o'clock Tuesday where we will be going live at 2 p.m. Central. And I'm not sure what we're gonna be working on. I'm sure it has something to do with the show. And so, yeah, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Are you guys doing face and body painting this year? We haven't decided. We'll be posting. Okay. Selective. He's doing selective body painting. So, yeah. And I'm not painting anybody to look like. He's not painting Avatar. He says, um, Avatar is just not happening this year. So, hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye.